want to thank you guys for coming again to watching my channel. Today we'll be making a coffee cake with cinnamon streusel toffee. And I will be using a box for the cake mix part of it. So let's get started. I'm going to do a cinnamon layer as well in the inside of the um, coffee cake. And it calls for, you know, I have my recipe off to the side. I have the oven already pre preheated to 350 degrees. We have 3 4 cup of brown sugar, 1 3rd cup of all purpose flour, and 1 and a half teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Gonna mix it up. And in this, I'm going to mix in a, a cup of chopped pecan. And with the pecan, using a spatula. And I have that mixed together. Now for the spruce part of it, um, for one cup of brown sugar, one cup of all-purpose flour, one fourth teaspoon of salt. Okay, I forgot my butter because this is calling for one cup of unsalted butter. And it's like softened, but not too soft. And I could have cut it up into chunks. And this you wanna just like cut into the ingredient, coarse meal. Now I need a bigger bowl for this ingredient. And I'll be back. Okay, I went and got me a bigger bowl. And I'm just gonna toss this in here. And this is what you want to achieve, like a crumbly meal type, you want this. And this is going to be our sprucing, sprucial topping. I'm going to sit that off to the side, move some things out of my way. And I'm going to start doing the cake part. And you just follow the directions on the box. Okay, because it, it's calling for a cup of water, but I'm using a cup of milk and one half cup of oil and three eggs. But the milk is actually almond milk. I'm using it instead of milk. Because almond milk is all I have on hand right now, and that's what I'm going to use, okay? So now we're starting with the cake mix. yellow cake mix. You can use whatever cake mix you want. Making sure I don't get any eggshells. Up. 
together. Now we're going to get a, third, a 9 by 13 inch baking pan and we're going to spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. And we're going to scoop out half the layer. <clears throat> Now we're going to add the streusel topping. Some went overboard. it down slightly Get that extra and we're gonna put her in the oven anyway from 35 to 40 minutes but everybody oven varies so we're gonna see how that goes and I'll be back see We'll be coming from Romans chapter 9, starting at the 35th verse. I'm going to be reading it in the New Living Translation. Can, it, can anything ever separate us from Christ's love? Does it mean he no longer loves us as we have trouble of calamity or persecuted or hungry or cold or in danger of threatening with death? Even the scripture says, for we are killed every day. We are being slaughtered like sheep. No, despite all these, overwhelming victory is ours through Christ who loved us. And, and I am convinced that nothing can ever separate us from his love. Death can't and life can't. The angels can't and the demons can't. Our fears for today and our worries for tomorrow. And even the powers of hell can't keep God's love away from us. Whether we are high above the sky or in the deepest ocean, nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. I love him. I love him. I love him. Okay, the cake is ready to come out of the oven. I took a toothpick, stuck it in the center. It came out clean and it has been in the oven for 35 minutes. And once it's cooled down, I'll be back to taste her. 
Now the cake has cooled down some. I can touch the pan and everything. Let's cut her and see how she tastes. Pick it up with my hand. Looks nice. You can see the cinnamon mixture in the middle with the pecans. Looks pretty good. So let's give her a taste. Delicious. The pecan, cinnamon, and that box cake tastes delicious. And with the holidays coming up, you can set the, to the box cake with um, that pumpkin spice cake or any kind of spice cake. That will be delicious. But I'm going to call my sister and my little niece in here and see what they think. I'll be back. Okay. My sister and my great niece is here to try the cake. It looks pretty. You want a piece first, Ava? Yeah, Mom. <laughs> if they give it up. You never can when you're using one hand and try to use one hand. You like mama? mama? Very moist. I can tell by the way it's sticking to the fork. Don't try this with a baby in y'all. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. I like it. You like Ava? Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this would be good with coffee for real. Yes, yes. And I was talking to my sister with the idea of coffee cake. Back in the day when coffee would just started coming out and people was trying coffee, they wanted to have it with something. So they started having it with a cake. So every time you have coffee, they will go, let's have coffee cake. And that's how coffee cake started out. But now you can get it in so many different versions and ways. But it will be nice and great, like I said, for the holidays with pumpkin spice or any kind of spice cake. But I want to thank you guys again for coming by to watch my channel. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next upload. Bye. 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 Mm -hmm. It's pretty good.